to celebrate at the SABC here. SABC journalists scooped four prizes or four awards at the Responsible Drinking Media Awards at a gala ceremony in Johannesburg last night. The awards recognize media work that highlights alcohol misuse or abuse in the country. Take a look at the package. According to global statistics, South Africans are among the highest consumers of alcohol. An abuse of these beverages is one of the challenges the nation faces. In a bid to promote responsible drinking, Diego honors media personalities who use the platform to add to the conversation. We really don't know enough and I just try to inform our readers who is mainly middle class um, people who think these things happen to other people. And journalists from the SABC shined. Cleopatra Jones won the Best TV as well as Best Up and Coming Award for insightful expose rock bottom on special assignment. This was the third year she won for her stories relating to the dangers of alcohol abuse. It's really motivating. It's motivating for me to do better. It's motivating for me to go out there and tell these stories because people need to hear these stories. So me winning is really, I'm grateful. While the best radio category went to Channel 404 Full View executive producer Megan Labke, her impactful multimedia piece on fetal alcohol syndrome on Talk Radio 702 won her this category. The journey of radio documentaries and their ability for storytelling, what captured me about the story is, you know, so often we get to hear voices, people get to call in the radio, you get to use a different name, you get to change voices, you get to understand people's pain, but when you're out in the boat and, you, and you're speaking to a mother of five children, um, and you hear where the pain actually started, and it started at the age of 11 when her parents got divorced and her mother left the house, and bottom line is her dad came to her one evening and said, now you gotta be the mother of the house and raped her. And at the age of 11 is when she took her first drink to forget about that pain. Megan was also named Journalist of the Year for the best overall entry, with one out of every five adults in the country abusing some substance. These awards hope to create dialogues on responsible use. Hasina Gori, SABC News, Johannesburg. Uh, congratulations to them, and this is such a vital, vital part of journalism: is educating. The, on people on the dangers of alcohol abuse. We're joined in studio now by last night's winner, the SABC's Cleopatra Jones. And uh, of course, she's accompanied by Sibani Ngadi, who is the Corporate Relations Director at Diageo. Good to have both of you. And Cleopatra, you. congratulations again. Thank you. I am so proud of you. Thank you so much. This is now, I mean, look, for, for what I know, mm -hmm. is it the third year in a row that you've won? Yes, this is definitely the third so year. So proud. I mean, this, is, I, this, is, this is, a, is a big accolade to you because, you know, as a public broadcaster, this, in essence, is our mandate, is it to is. do stories like mm -hmm. what you're doing. So Absolutely, yes. we're so proud of you. I mean, what makes, what, why are you so passionate about reporting on these kind of stories? It's because a lot of people aren't educated. A lot of people drink. We all do. But yeah. some people just, they don't realize what it's doing to them until it's too late. Like one of the case studies that I profiled. He started drinking when his father passed away, and then it was excessive. And then from that point, his mother had to sell their home, and that just made things worse. And then when his mother died, he just went on to the thing, and it never stopped. So for me, it was trying to find him help even though he's in denial about what's happening in his life, and his life is just getting out of control and he's not realizing it. I took him to AA, but even that didn't help him because he's in denial. He didn't want to return there. Even the AA guys were like, we'll come to you then. And he's just not willing to take the help. Yeah, yeah because he's in denial for now. Maybe one day he will realize that he really needs the help. It's amazing how you don't have to look too far mm -hmm. to find these stories. Exactly. And, th and, that, and I think that is the most worrying thing mm -hmm. about alcohol abuse. It, it affects everyone. It uh, does. Don't, don't anybody live under the impression or under a rock thinking it just affects the, the very rich and the very, uh, I beg your pardon, the very poor and those people that, you know, you look at and think, oh, no, obviously, it is every single household mm -hmm. uh, that can be susceptible to mm -hmm. this. Why, why as a company that, that actually makes money off selling alcohol, do you feel it's important to have something like this? 
Well, the reality firstly then is, uh, of course, there are economic pressures. We understood how news reporting and just media content is going. Uh, originally, you will remember that we used to have bit specialist in health and various other things that has uh, reduced and as a company we feel that if we can keep this issue on the agenda in terms of media reporting and various content in the media we can be able to catch everyone who needs to be involved uh, both the regulators as well as the NGOs that help people who, are, who have a problem of alcohol to be able to be conscious of it and make intervention. I think one thing that is really uh, exciting for me is that we are able now to support SAPC in part particular in terms of its public service uh, responsibilities because these education programs in terms of how alcohol needs to be consumed in a responsible manner and what are the problems that arise from abuse of alcohol are needs to be high on the agenda. I think I'm very much happy that she has always been there to uh, address these issues and mm. that's what you would like to see across the media channels and various media institutions in South Africa. Yeah, amazing. Consistently high levels of entries and, mm. and, and, and we do uh, we do congratulate Cleopatra on the hard work that she does because it's, it's exceptional. But this year uh, you had along the lines of 400 entries into, into the awards. Yes, it's been an amazing journey. We are at year eight now. Uh, first time we reached 450 and we started at around about 80 uh, entries and we believe that more and more people are beginning to recognize these awards and uh, of course it's a, an important issue i think for me uh, south africa has many competing problems uh, issues of crime and uh, various other things that can make headlines we would like to make sure that things that are really impacting people future alcohol syndrome came through as yes. one of the most touching storylines in the in those awards and in those stories and for me, those stories need to be told and so that women who are pregnant can understand that they don't need to drink in those nine months when they are pregnant and even after uh, when they are breastfeeding. So if we can be able to channel those stories, I think for us as a company that produces alcohol, we believe that if we can have responsible drinking, then we have a, 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 a a seller consumer relationship that is much more sustainable we don't gain from people consuming excessively and ending up in either car accident and various other problems because the, eventually we lose uh, consumers our motto as a company is celebrate life every day everywhere so we are about celebration it's not about binge drinking and then ending up in trouble i think that's what we are trying to push through yeah, as a yeah. as di joe as a company Cleopatra, let's leave, let's leave the final word with you. I mean, when we sort of look at the stories that you cover and mm -hmm. you go in and you have a look at them, I mean, do you, do you, is, it, is it easy to pitch these stories? Or, or do you kind of find that maybe your producers say, you know what, <laughs> enough yeah. of these stories. You know, we, the, they happen all the day. Yeah. Let's find something new. Yes. And, and that's the danger, mm -hmm. is that we actually as a society become so used to seeing the stories and mm -hmm. hearing the stories mm -hmm. of people turning to alcohol yeah. and, the, you know, the devastation. It's nothing mm -hmm. new. What new are you reporting? Yeah. We've got to make sure that we don't get tired of these stories. How, mm. how, how do you go about that? Who, um, this, I love my EP, Mrs. Duli, but I think she's tired of these stories. You know? Like this year, she was like, why are you wanting to do this story again? Because you've done it twice yes. before. <laughs> and I was like, because it's an important thing. It's important for us to educate the people. People need to know because people are ruining their lives out there because they don't realize, they're not educated. And because of the things that they're going through in their lives, they use alcohol as an escape. But by the time that they wake up, it's too late. They've lost absolutely everything. Yeah. So for us as journalists, it is our duty. It is up to us to educate them, to let them know what is happening. I think you're so right. Never stop. Never. Cleopatra, never stop telling that story. And uh, I'm going to hug you when I see you walking into the building. We always walk in and, and I'm walking out, she's walking in at the same time. We can't stop showing these stories the minute we become you know complacent as a society it'll just get out of control thank you for joining us and congratulations again uh, cleopatra jones for winning this the third time in a row winning two awards last night and we also thank sibani ngadi who is the corporate relations director at diageo for coming in and talking to us more about these awards thank thanks so, so much, much for joining us all right let's uh, let's take a break